It seems like whenever a week passes by, many controversies take turns to arise in the K-pop world, which constantly triggers netizens' fidgets to find out what's going on. Did you update all the last weeks' as fuzz? If not yet, then in this video, let B Boss TV walk you guys through all the heated debates sparked last week. I bet you might want to sit down to watch till the end of this video. Let's kick off the video with the first controversy around Taeyeon and her Louis Vuitton ambassador title. Previously, after more than two years exposed to the brand, in an interview with W Korea magazine at the end of May 2022, Taeyeon introduced herself as ambassador of Louis Vuitton. However, until now, the fashion house has never published an article declaring Taeyeon as an ambassador, nor has there been any official agreement for her like other ambassadors. This has led many netizens to suspect whether Taeyeon appointed herself as the brand ambassador or not. There are many times the female idol was seen dressing in the brand's outfits, and even continuously tagging Louis Vuitton on her Instagram posts, which is like she implicitly wants the brand to keep an eye on her. However, these efforts seem to be in vain as the fashion house hasn't made a move since then. What is even more surprising is that most recently, netizens spotted that Taeyeon hadn't followed Louis Vuitton's Instagram account. Soon after that, there was a hot discussion all over online forums. Many netizens said that after a long time voluntarily promoting Louis Vuitton without any official brand ambassador declaration, Taeyeon feels really shameful so she decided to unfollow the brand immediately as a way to express her displeasure with them. Some even burst into laughter, joking that the female idol at that time was exactly like a volunteer, or self-proclaimed ambassador of the brand. They also said that if they were in Taeyeon's situation, they would feel extremely embarrassed and just want to dig a hole and bury themselves in it. On the other hand, her fans ask netizens why they keep questioning their idols' ambassador title when W Korean, Esquire, and L'Officiel, the three most prestigious Korean magazines, all call her the brand ambassador of Louis Vuitton. What's more, as a female idol, there is no way Taeyeon would breed herself into a dilemma by bragging about what she doesn't have. As for Taeyeon unfollowing Louis Vuitton's Instagram account, maybe the contract between the two has expired so there's no surprise when she did so. Thus, fans are asking netizens to stop making up a whole story from minor things to make others throw shade at Taeyeon. Although Taeyeon had unfollowed the brand's Instagram account, she still received a gift from Louis Vuitton on her birthday. She uploaded photos of the gift on her Instagram story with a caption TYLV, along with other stories of gifts from other brands. This made many netizens think that the female idol and Louis Vuitton had reconciled. However, the story about Louis Vuitton was suddenly deleted, while the stories about other brands were kept. This triggered netizens' curiosity about what had happened between the two. Some netizens soon notice that the gift in the Louis Vuitton story is not a birthday present from the brand, but in fact, the one from the event since Taeyeon attended the event Louis Vuitton and Yayoi Kasama because the packaging is the same. Not to mention, if this is actually the gift from the brand, there will be flowers and a card included, and while any KOL would receive those extra things, when receiving gifts from brands, there's no way a so-called ambassador and a superstar like Taeyeon to receive only a sketchy gift box. Thus, they believe that after being exposed to this absurdity, Taeyeon hastily deleted the story. Well, to be fair, it's hard to tell who is right or wrong. I think that both Taeyeon and Louis Vuitton made mistakes since they don't understand each other's intentions and ways of working. There would be nothing worth discussing if both arrange and agree on the ambassador declaration to avoid being caught up in controversies. Plus, since Taeyeon is a famous idol and Louis Vuitton is a luxury brand, I believe there is no reason for both to be vague about this matter. The confusing thing is that if Taeyeon is not the brand ambassador, then many prestigious Korean magazines call her an ambassador for what? Not to mention Louis Vuitton didn't take any action to deny her title. And Taeyeon's fans might be right when saying that she unfollowed the fashion house because the contract expired, as she hasn't uploaded any posts related to the brand since January 7. Hope that this could be a lesson for both to be more careful while working in the future. Now let's move on to the next news in this discussion video which will completely astonish you. New Jeans is said to have the worst live singing skills ever. 
In particular, on March 4, New Jeans has been invited to perform at the 36th Minabi Tokyo Girls Collection 2023 Spring Summer. It is known that Tokyo Girls Collection TGC is one of Japan's largest fashion festivals held twice a year and has always been the talk of the town. The fact that New Jeans was going to be the main artist of this amazing show made fans all in cloud nine. At the show, the group dynamically hit the stage with their hit song Ditto, which has been storming on all fronts for months. However, things start getting wrong as some netizens made an MR-removed version of the performance, exposing the girls' weak vocals and problems in controlling their breathing. If you watch the video carefully, you will notice that except for Hani and Hain, who can clearly sing parts of the song, the other three members are almost lip-syncing. As soon as the video went to public release, New Jeans had already received mixed opinions from netizens. Many pointed out that even though the song was in a medium tone and do not require excellent technique, almost all members of New Jeans still depended on the backtrack music and barely sang. They wondered if the girls couldn't do well with such an easy song, what else could they do with other songs which have high notes and high technical requirements? Worth mentioning, New Jeans has been earning praise for good live singing skills since their debut, and that's why many fans are not getting over the truth. Many thought that if the video was true, they wouldn't be surprised because New Jeans indeed doesn't have any outstanding talent from rapping, dancing to vocal skills, and their popularity is just thanks to catchy music and unique concepts to be frank. However, some fans still stand up to protect idols, saying that it's definitely an edited MR removed version by anti fans to draw criticism to New Jeans and tarnish the group's reputation due to jealousy of the girls' fame. Moreover, it might be because the mic had a problem at the time, so it couldn't record the members' voices, making them being misunderstood. However, to be honest, MR removed is not highly appreciated by fans regarding authenticity because it is still editable, so I think netizens need to judge the group's talent over a long period of time, not through a single MR removed version. Hope that New Jeans will continue to hone their vocal skills so that they can prove their true talent in the next performances. The last piece of news is related to Nam Taehyun, an ex-member of Winner who was recently arrested for driving while intoxicated. Specifically on March 8, the Seoul Gangnam Police Station officially announced that they were in the midst of investigating Nam Taehyun for drunk driving. According to the police, at about 3.20 a.m. that day, Nam Taehyun is alleged to have parked his own car on a roadside in Gangnam, Seoul. While opening the car door, he crashed into a passing taxi, causing its right side mirror to be damaged. Worth mentioning, afterward, the male idol then drove about 20 meters even though he had just caused the accident. Upon receiving the news, the police were dispatched to the scene and conducted a breathalyzer test on Nam Taehyun to find out whether the artist was drunk or not. It turns out that his blood alcohol level was around 0.114% while the percentage for a driver's license to be revoked is at 0.08%. The police then immediately arrested Nam Taehyun and booked him on the spot. However, he was so severely intoxicated that they decided to send him home to be questioned further later. Responding to the news that Nam Taehyun was arrested for a drunk driving scandal, on March 8, his agency claimed that they were still gathering information because they had no idea about the details of the incident. Later, on March 10, Nam Taehyun posted a handwritten apology saying he had bowed his head and apologized for causing concern due to his fault. He also makes no further excuses for his wrongdoings. Wrapping up the letter, he also promised to accept being reprimanded and reflect on himself as well. Following the scandal, Korean netizens are harshly criticizing Nam Taehyun, saying that he's really hopeless since this is not the first time the male idol had been breaking the rules. Earlier in August 2022, Nam Taehyun was accused by his girlfriend, So Min Jae, of using methamphetamine and assaulting her. Thus, many believe that there should be zero tolerance for him and Nam Taehyun deserves to get a heavy punishment. What's more, since he holds a position of power, he should get a heavier sentence to set an example for others. Not only that, many are asking the police to send him to jail and make him do community service. Moreover, some suspected that his eyes always looked like he was on drugs, so the police needed to test him for drugs also. 
Above all, Nam Chaehyun is said to be truly problematic. His personality can be either good or bad, but definitely not suitable for being an idol. So do you think there is something shady in the incident between Taeyeon and Louis Vuitton? Is New Jeans' live singing skills really as bad as in the MR removed version? And why is Nam Taehyun doing what he's doing? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching.